Welcome back everyone to the Actuarial Academy. This is Dr. Me, and we are preparing to work on a problem that involves three independent Poisson random variables and we'd like to determine what the probability of their sum is given the various parameters of the individual random variables. So we have x, y, and z independent Poisson random variables with respective expectation of 1, 2, and 3. And again, we'd like to find the probability that their sum is less than or equal to 2. So before you can tackle a problem like this, you must know two things. First, the actual PMF of a Poisson random variable, which is given here, and the expected value of x is lambda. It's actually the parameter of the Poisson probability mass function. So this is a formula you must know and not something you want to waste time trying to figure out. Uh, please commit that to memory. Fact two is also something you want to most certainly com commit to memory and it's something that's considered common knowledge in working really any probability question. So this should not be a big surprise. If x is distributed Poisson with rate lambda 1 and y is distributed Poisson with rate lambda 2, and x and y are independent, then it follows that x plus y is distributed Poisson of lambda 1 plus lambda 2. Okay, so this is kind of a nice property of the Poisson random variable. It, again, you, you should know and recognize immediately. So when you first read this problem, you'll, you'll know whether or not you can solve it if you know these facts. If you know these facts, then you'll be able to solve it immediately. And so let's go ahead and work this out now. We're going to go ahead and use fact 2. We can generalize fact 2 to three variables of x, y, z. Essentially what we're saying is if each of these is independent Poisson random variables with basically you can think of this as rate 1, rate 2, rate 3, or lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3 because they are the expected value, then, then the sum I'm going to go ahead and write this down, x plus y plus z by fact number 2, you know is distributed also as a Poisson random variable with parameter or rate the sum of these, 1 plus 2 plus 3. So that's a real nice property of the Poisson random variable. So this rate then is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, rate 6. So this actually equals 6. Let me just notate it that way. So what we're saying here is these are individual Poisson random variables independent of one another with the respective rates given here. Then the sum is also a Poisson random variable but with rate 6. Now we know what the PMF of x plus y plus z is and that's where we employ fact 1. We can go ahead and jump right to the question here and then employ the formula of the probability mass function with lambda equaling 6. So let me write that here. So the probability of x plus y plus z being less than or equal to 2 okay, is the same as the probability that x plus y plus z is equal to 0 plus the probability that x plus y plus z is equal to 1 plus the probability that x plus y plus z is equal to 2. So we can now use the probability mass function here with the appropriate rate lambda equaling 6. So this is simply E. Now I'm working this piece first. X plus Y plus Z equals 0. So we still have negative 6 there. Uh, lambda, I'm just following this formula here, to the 0 power divided by 0 factorial plus E to the negative 6 6 to the first power divided by 1 factorial plus e to the negative 6 6 squared divided by 2 factorial okay and using algebra I think you can convince yourself that this is equal to e to the negative 6 times 1 plus 6 plus 18 which is just equal to 25 times e to the negative 6 and that's our final answer. So just to comment here, so when you see a problem like this that's similar to this and it seems to be difficult, that means you're probably missing some facts that you should have already memorized or already have 
in the back of your mind. A lot of these actual exam questions don't require you to derive these things from first principles. They want to know, do you know some basic facts that you can apply immediately to arrive at your answer? Thank you very much.